Cause I've been jet flying, limousine, riding the women love it. Woo, daddy, you messing with the nature boy. That shop. Little trikes in the shop? Yeah. You got a blue Rest shop, day. blue trike. Yeah. Rest okay. day. Y'all ready to ride? Get it ready to ride, color Muncie? All right, let's go. Cool, you had to put the trike in the shop. That's our normal trike right there. Getting some major work done. Looks like the front shocks. Uh, and it needed some major work. It really did. It's like every day it's a challenge to get the thing started. So that Kuya cool over there is working on the shocks. Hopefully work on that engine. What are they doing? Getting a rope. Yeah, Kuya's cool, tying down the tank. Folks, we are loaded down. Got a case of Cokes. Got my wine pack that I need to go get some wine to put in there. And this is my crew right here. You ladies ready to go to the village? Look at this crew. Go buy bangus. Everybody hustling me for fish already today. You ladies had fish last night. Bangus. But you have fish last night? Yeah. Don't you want to have chicken today? Grandma, you want chicken? Yeah. Maria, you ladies want chicken or you want fish? Bangus. Everybody wants fish? Kilo, though. Bangus, kilo. Because we cannot carry it there, we can I, can, I can carry that big tank on top of the backpack. No, bala, kasi go. Let's go. Smile, smile, smile. Peta ko experience. Ano ba? 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 Ano ba?
I get at least three. Is it 220? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yes, two twenty. Yeah, they get three. Oh. Okay, no, they Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, everybody ready to ride? Yes, let's go. Tell them once you got my glasses. Yeah. Alright folks, now we're loaded down. <clears throat> she kept saying two kilos of fish is all she needed. I said, I said baby, two kilos of fish is not enough. We gotta get three kilos of fish. So I talked her into getting another kilo of fish. We got three kilos. There was chicken in the freezer, but she didn't want to bring it. I said, okay, alright, it's fish day. I said, what about me? She said, you never eat anyhow, you only drink. I said, you know what, you're absolutely right. So, three kilos of fish, two, 220 per kilo. Obviously, we're bringing a bag of rice and a bunch of vegetables. I would have thought we needed some chicken and pork, but hey, it's their show. They know what everybody wants to eat. Day. Sunny, but it's a nice cool breeze for our walk across the shirt game field. I've been jet flying, limousine, riding with my love. <laughs> Woo, daddy, you messing with the nature boy. All right, folks, still rolling strong. Got a good hard packed road. It hadn't been raining, so we got good traction. We can see the big house. Oh, we can see the big house from here. But the Kuya is still trucking. Got a propane tank on board and some propane accessories. The farther he gets me to that big house, the less distance I gotta hump that propane tank. So what a beautiful day here in the sugar cane field. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Cause I've been looking for a when they pull that gate. And I hope that judge ain't blind. Amarillo by morning. Amarillo's on my mind. Whoa, that rock almost took me out. <laughs> but you can't catch Papa Bear. <laughs> oh, Lord. Those things I do to bring y'all different angles on the dangles. <laughs> See, we're going way. Like, well, let me just get down here so I can shoot back and show you how bumpy this trike ride is gonna be. Are you okay? Into the road, cause it do go down. 
All right, what she's doing, she's doing a recon on the uh, on the river. The trike might be able to pass the river crossing. All right, so we'll go down here and do a recon. Might be able to pass it. Does it look dry? Yeah, it looks dry. Come on, check it out. It's propane tank on the back. Well, maybe next time you listen to the director. It's a hot one. Now look, as much as I like this walk, the longer the walk, just the more fun it is, more time we get to spend together. I wasn't looking forward to humping that 11 kilogram, about half full propane tank over here, LPG, whatever the hell it is. But I was gonna put on the backpack that grandma's wearing, that Arc'teryx, and then set it on the top of the backpack. And I can do it, and if he stopped up here, that's what I'm going to do. But being that it's so dry, um, you know, he can get the trike through here today. I'm not complaining about that at all. <laughs> work it, work it. <laughs> Go sweet babies. All right, I'll get the backpack from Grandma. Grandma, give me the rucksack. You can't hump this hill with that rucksack. My viewers will not be happy if I let you carry that backpack. All right, folks, I have relieved Grandma of the backpack. Okay. All right. There we go for all my handsome donkeys. Making that poor old woman carry that backpack. All right, here we go up the hill. Took a whole lot of terrain, but just to get up that hill. And now we up in the big leagues. <laughs> Trying to balance this camera. 
you can't just run it's sort of like an airborne shuffle slash scratch groucho whatever the hell they call it these days keep this camera still i'm tired you just got started I said, Cullen wants he's holding that loaf of bread like it's a newborn baby. She, Cause she oh, loves yeah. bread. Yeah. And she said, Fatima said, that's your wine bottle. I said, oh, oh, good deal. Hello, Hello. How are you doing? Hello. 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 Forest, come here. Yeah, dah lama lu tak sah keraju ku ya. Gamit, gamit lah aku tu. Kemat tawak tawak. Semut ikan pun. Lo 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 lo. Aku an ku ya. Lo lo. Okay. Kaping mai ni, kaping mai ni. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, solid copy, my friend. All right, now you got radios. Radio contact. So when the dude gets up at the road, he just calls us on the radio. I guess for you want to go home with him. <laughs> all right, we'll see you, buddy. All right, he got us all the way here today, folks. Due to uh, no rain in a while, just good solid hard pack, no problem. Of course, the river was passable. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, fresh plowed dirt out here. My gosh, smells like Mississippi to me. Sounds and the smells of Mississippi, my friends. Love it. Ano? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
that, don't you? Six fish. Six fish, three kilo. Three kilo, no. Ang konti usa ka isa ti tagtunga ro sa dang uban. Yes, yes. Pau. Pau. Na diha sa tong mga kuan ati yung kuan. Ati sa tong mga lamas. Hey, buddy, how are you, man? Oh, thank you. So sweet. Nakana mo. Nakana mo kagalubo. Kung Your body, Maria. I'm having a picnic. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Cheers, my friends. Cheers to everybody out there. Sangria. They were out of California red. I tried the red Moscato the other day. Too sweet. But this is too sweet, but I just changed it up. <sighs> Sometimes 7 Eleven's out of California red. What can I do? Day. Man, it's windy. Like free air conditioning. No mosquitoes, no flies can fly in these conditions. I'm good, baby. What you eat in Kalamanti? Chips. And babies love chips. Always gotta have chips. We cut back on the chips though. They were eating chips every day, snack at school. Maria's eating fruit. The only time for us to get some chips is on uh, when we go out, special occasion. They're chip monsters. Like a cookie monster, but a chip monster. Hey son, I love you man.
Nai Mai. Yeah, you ladies moving back here? Yeah, it's a wind in there. Oh, there's no wind back here. Ati Mai Mai, how are you? I'm fine. Did you get a new Feeling hair? Good. You do the salon? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, do you want to borrow my lighter? Ano ba na to pirtuhon? Hello. So the cooking operation back here definitely solve the wind problem. There's there's no wind back there. The problem is there's no wind back there. It's uh it's hot. Now it's taking the smoke out of here, so you can't complain about the smoke, but it's hot as hell. I'm going back up to my little grassy knoll overlooking the sugar cane field and the plowing operation. I'm gonna enjoy my wine while these ladies do all their cooking operation. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I just saw Tai Tai walking a brown goat. I think that's my goat. Hey, boy. Dili kwan? 
tiwason tin tiwason eh minot man ka ng kuanan pikasan para luto ah pikasan lang sa nakuha tanan para luto siya tanan ba at doon eh baka on pa rin pait pait yun o lang uban ka na pait pait yung tiniwa tanaan na doon pait pait Dahan dito kang puwil. Dahan na kabukipalit niya. Amo tog nga hilis na o wagi awa na wa na mahilis aw way swerte Why you don't wrap up the tail? The tail gonna be lonely. Nah. Huh? Ni kay tu pagget ti ma. Ini pa di ka mo pagod. Going to eat that tail. Munsa? Kana? Apo ni mo na postan, na pa may dahan puwin. Ayun lang. Mo ay sya par guti gunitanan ba? Di ra gihapon makaon. Oh, makaon. Tayo sa ano, tik 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 mo ay. Ano? Hybrid na. Eh, ako'y ko nakangin lang. Hindi ko ito, yung buhok ko. Yung buhok. Hindi na sabing usab eh. Ay, ginupon. Ay, tuon na ito yung munda eh. May umuhan. Dagang sa... Ang sauce. Fire's too hot and your aluminum foil is too cheap. Oh, yung aluminum ba na sunog? I think your fish gonna burn up. It's too hot. Mom, she. Mom, we're gonna sunog yung aluminum. Ah! Sunog na yung. Tapos pa na kaya yung. Ano yun na yung? Kung ano yun na yun na Thank you. 
ko masin siya mapawang kayo ha. If this fish turns out like those poor chaps the other day, at least we know exactly who burned them. It was grandma and her fire. You can feel the heat coming right here. I mean, I mean, she's so hot, cause I, I can feel the heat right here. I don't want to get the camera any closer. No, it's on the ground. But hey, somebody had to take some action. They're gonna burn that, all that fish. That tin foil is so thin and so cheap. It's like Reynolds wrap, like 10% of the thickness of Reynolds wrap. It's useless. You would have to wrap that whole roll out of there to do one round with Reynolds wrap. It's just cheap, it's cheap Chinese junk. But grandma's fire was too hot. That fire was so hot you could roast a hog on it. She only needed like three or four of them coconut husks and she put 12. Honey, good news. I have the evidence grandma is responsible for burning the fish so you're off the hook and you too you're off the hook grandma is responsible for burning the fish it's probably gonna look like like a long strip of charcoal when it comes out of there Okay, now here's a village tip for you. Starting to get some flies around my setup here. When you get done with your glass, flip it over like that so the flies can't land on the rim. If you turn it up like this, turn it up like that, you'll have flies all over the rim. But if you put it down, get out of there. Turn it upside down, now your flies are not going to get on the rim. And then this is the other thing I talk about, bringing a Yeti cup. It's worth its weight in gold here in the tropics. Why? Because it's got a lid. B. I brought this ice from the crib and that's probably enough ice for me for my whole trip so I bring my own ice that way hands aren't going in and out of the cooler getting you sick of the community cooler I have my own ice flies aren't on it now they're landing on a couple other things here but but the main thing I don't want a hundred flies landing on the rim of that glass and then put my lips on there so there you go just drink your wine your beer take a break turn it upside down keep your ice in here now if you're drinking regular drinks obviously you got the lid but you know beer but i i uh i don't drink wine out of this big guy here there you go tips for visiting your wife's village bring a yeti cup full of ice with a lid bring your own little party pack bring your own drink because you're not going to like what they're drinking and they don't like what you're drinking. Hey, it's okay to be different, have different tastes and flavors. All right. Uh, and all the men seem to be doing their own thing today. I brought some tobacco. If you haven't seen this before, you can buy a tobacco leaf in the market. So that's, that's just a piece of tobacco. And these are leaves from the lumboid tree 
And all they do is they pick up the leaves and roll them up. I don't know if they wet them or whatever, but anyhow, it's just rolled up leaves. So when you make a homemade cigarette, there's two ingredients, a lumboy leaf and tobacco. And it's a great flavor. This adds a unique flavor to the tobacco. But after you're done smoking on it, it doesn't leave your clothes or your skin or your hair smelling, uh, you know, like a hooker you picked up from a honky tonk smoking two packs a day. You just don't smell. It's all natural. The chemicals in uh, modern day cigarettes are what makes it stink, what kills you. I've got wine, uh, corkscrew, I've got three beer bottle openers. And I got these little knives here, courtesy of my buddy. You're not gonna cut a steak with them, we tried it. But what they are good for cutting is your calamansis. Check out these guys. Now, they're real knives, they're blades. They're not very sharp. I need to put a little bit better edge on them. But they will cut a calamansi. Look at that thing. Isn't that cute? Perfect for chopping calamansis. You could kill a pig with that one if you had to. That'd be pretty tough, but a little pig sticker right there. Got a meat cleaver and a pig sticker. Look at this crew coming through here. Street gangs. Huge problem here in the village, street gangs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, buddy. Maria's found some friends, cousins. See what I mean about the flies? They show up quick, especially when it's sweet wine. Get the hell off my wine. You like that mayonnaise sandwich? Folks, these Filipinos, they love mayonnaise sandwiches. I didn't realize how much they did.
level girl.
always see a lot of carabaos like chilling hanging out but this is what they do they work when they're not working they hang out and they chill chill in the watering holes you know keep the bugs off of them but that carabao right there is basically a John Deere tractor to many people around the world living villages like this you saw those two tractors over there plowing I don't know how many hectares, how many acres over there in one day. And I'm not sure exactly how much they'll they'll work the carabao at one time. You know, for example, how many hectares or acres they can plow in one day. And so you say, why don't you just get a tractor? What's more efficient, a carabao or a tractor? Now think about this before you answer. Because the technology that's in this carabao right here in that plow, it's a piece of metal, so we had to be what, in the Bronze Age, wood. That's ropes. I think there's really three ingredients. There's a piece, there's a piece of metal, a few pieces of wood, and some ropes. It's like a metal ring. But the technology that it takes for this thing to operate versus a tractor that took millions of years of human evolution and development to be able to produce steel, rubber, fuel, you know, gas, diesel. That thing's a hell of a lot more efficient because it didn't take... <laughs> <laughs> an industrial revolution to get it going does that make sense and once World War 3 breaks out and the fuel stops flowing everybody in the industrialized world is going to be in a world of hurt because they're not used to operating like this but people here in the old lady's village in the year 2024, they're plowing this field right here with a carabao and a single plow. It's like that old song by Alabama. It's 
Somebody told us Wall Street Phil that we was so poor. We couldn't tell. They don't know shit about Wall Street. Stocks. But I'm gonna tell you this, like I said, people don't realize it. Most people in America don't realize this. Now, if you live down in Florida, around hurricane areas, you realize it, especially living in South Florida. You know, once the hurricane comes, the fuel stops. The fuel trucks stop, there's no fuel. Then you're in trouble. Yeah, if the road's ice over or what have you, maybe they can't get fuel for a day or two, but when there's a natural, a true natural disaster, a war, a conflict, <laughs> your car ain't gonna be, it's not gonna work too much longer. It don't run on air. Anyhow, just thoughts. Just thoughts, you know, this shit breaks out with China, the fuel stops flowing. We won't be plowing the fields over there with them uh, Ford tractors. This dude right here, we'll still be driving on. Be our only hope to uh, grow some food. Thought I'd bring that up. Where you see the care about working? Arina Maria. Maria. Maria, Maria.
Folks, I want to say thanks for joining us on today's family day. Thanks to you, the viewer, watching my show, listening to my voice, you make all this happen. Allow me to live this lifestyle, spend all my time with my kids, and I certainly appreciate you. Got to say thank you. Certainly blessed. They say that fish is absolutely delicious. If there's any left over, I'll give me a bite, but I usually don't eat. Until I get back to the crib. Not because the food ain't good. Just uh, if I sit there and make a big old plate, it takes food out of somebody else's mouth. So this foreign dude will wait. That's why I just enjoy my wine. Everybody else can enjoy that fish. And this dude right here. <laughs> can you pick that up, buddy? <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for joining us. I truly, truly thank you. Thankful that you make all this happen by watching my show. audio is usable. Probably should have switched over to the wireless mics. But this Rode Video Micro has got a big old dead cat on it. So between the wind noise and family over here speaking beside, maybe you can hear me. So the fish that we had today was called bangus. Now for what, five, six years, however long I've been around Fatima. You know, we go to the market, and maybe all they have is bangus, what have you. Oh, I don't like bangus. I don't like bangus. I couldn't figure out why. Every other girlfriend I've had, for the most part, they all love bangus. So, I just assumed she didn't like the taste or what have you. So today, she got done eating this bangus, and she's like licking her fingers. Absolutely delicious. I say, you told me for five, six years you didn't like bangus, and now all of a sudden you like bangus, and she said, yeah, I never tried it before. I said, it, it's typical with Filipinas. If they, 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 they're so limited on what they're going to eat and what they say they like, they don't want to try anything. They're not culinary adventurers, at least the Filipinas I've been with. Chicken and rice, magic wrap, soy sauce, and salt. That's it. You deviate from that. They don't like it. Or they don't want to try it. But if you can get them and talk them into trying something, oh, well, half the time they like it, right? 
But I, I just found that strange. For five or six years, she kept telling me, I don't like bongos, I don't like, I don't want bongos. And she never ate it, till today. And now, oh my gosh, it's absolutely delicious. And she said, plus, I didn't know how to cook it. Never tried it, didn't know how to cook it. I said, well, it's up to you. You just robbed yourself of 26 years of deliciousness <laughs> of not eating bung ooze. I don't know, just things that make you go, hmm. I'm like, why, why didn't you at least try it? Because we've been at the market at times where we got there late or whatever. Didn't have anything but bung ooze and tilapia. I just get the tilapia. I don't like the bung ooze. Mm. Anyhow, I just thought I'd share that. So now I would say, what was it, what, 220, 225 a kilo? I would say now we'll be eating a lot of more, a, a lot of bungos, if I had to guess. The baby seemed to like it too. This gentleman over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably made about 10 swoops, 10, 10 rows. Now he's. He's only plowed maybe, I'd say a quarter of probably what he's going to plow right now. So I don't know if he got hungry and needed a break or if that's if that's what the carabao will do before he gives the carabao break. I don't know. Saturday evening, Saturday, Saturday afternoon, going into Saturday evening. So even the dudes on the Ford tractor called it quits, headed for the barn. But a low key family day. Tito Ramel's working. Got Tai Tai a couple of bottles of Kalafu, which one of them young men over there helped him out with it. Hey, I didn't. Ain't my responsibility to say what goes, what don't go, right? But uh, the young dude over there helped him out with that Kalafu. Tai Tai drink one glass, and the young dude drink about three. He asked me, what, 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 is that wine? I said, yeah. Said, what flavor is it? I said, well, it's sangria. He's hoping I offered him some wine, but I'm like, dude, it ain't, ain't my place to be giving you liquor, buddy. Ty Ty wants to, that's up to him, but you ain't getting my wine. Sometimes you gotta say no. Oh. Plus, I'm tired. I think because yesterday we went and got vegetables night. When I go see Alan, I always drink a grande. I'm not used to drinking sand mig. Puts a hangover on you. Cheap liquor put a hangover on you. More expensive liquor, not much, not as crazy and devastating of a hangover. So when I drink San Miguel products, I feel like crap the next day. I really need a California rig because this sweetness ain't doing my stomach no justice. It has it has alcohol, obviously, as wine, but zero effect on me. The sangria, the moscatos, all the sweet wine, zero effect. It's like it don't have any alcohol. I gotta get straight to California red. But again, 7-Eleven was out. I think we're gonna call it a day, pack it up, head to the barn. Trike should be on the way pretty soon. Gave him a radio for comms. And it would be a good test since we're line of sight right here to test those radios range. You know, if you buy them off Lazada, all the marketing is false, obviously. They'll say they're five watts, they're not, they're half watt, they're Chinese knockoffs, right? So if you buy any of those radios on there, unless you buy like the legitimate Baofeng, like the little ham radios, the range on these is negligent. But I would like to try it since I got straight line distance, you know, just have her walk out through there, see what the range is on these little radios. Really need to get some of those Baofeng little ham radios in case the shit hits the fan. Oh, it's got a little bitty baby goat over there, a little newborn baby goat. A little boy's carrying it, it's so small. I gotta go over there and get you some footage. It's the cutest little thing. A little tiny goat. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. 
tough fight him the other day. I said, grab the kids, let them see the Carabao, right? You know, they've never seen a Carabao plow the field before. Of course, she's not excited about it. Like, why are you excited about that, you know? I said, let's take them to see the baby goat. Like, why? <laughs> well, when people ain't seen stuff like that, it's exciting. I love being a good fool dude that I am. I brought our tank over here, which is probably three quarters full, but I needed the empty tank to take back so I can go get a new tank so we can cook. All I asked was, all, all I said was, I need the empty tank. Which, where's the empty tank? Thanks, you know, poor old Tai Tai toasts the empty tank up the hill. But I, I didn't, lack of communication, folks. But I had no idea which was empty and which wasn't, because they had done whatever they did. Whatever. <laughs> he toted it up the hill. I appreciate it, but that wasn't my intent. I just didn't know which one to get. Stress on Monday here. I'm a good foreign dude. Now grandma's got gas back over here. Of course she stays with us most of the time. But at least now Ty Ty can cook with gas again. But I've been asking them for weeks. I've been asking them, well, they told me what, a month ago? Her gas went out. It's okay, just bring an empty tank so I can go change it out, right? It's an exchange or you gotta pay for the tank. Nobody would bring me the empty tank. I had to come get it myself on family day. Ah, <sighs> stress I'm under. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, it actually worked. He had his radio on. <laughs> oh, wow. So these little radios, um, They'll go at least a click line of sight. I would say a click because he was turning off up there. I say about a click. Hey, buddy. It actually worked. Most folks here in this country, they don't answer their cell phones. I never thought in a million years that I would key that radio up and say, Kaping my in it, Kaping my in it, and he would roger up, and he did. That, I don't know. That's a small victory today that he had the radio on, he had it on the right channel. And it reached that far. Uh, so that test almost tells me. Now it's going through some buildings and some trees. That it'll probably reach to his house. From our crib. So now no more oh no load. You can't call him no load. It just hit him on the radio. I never thought it would reach that far. Wow. Too cool. Okay. 
Okay, for the record, you owe me seven empty bottles. Yeah, you just leave this in here. Okay? Ayun naman yung pangumpayan Ayun naman yung pangumpayan Ha? 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 This is where the river usually comes across, right? But 
It's not enough water now. Why you didn't have enough water? No rain. Huh? No raining. Let's go, Papa Gun Kitchen. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, you better run. <laughs> Alright, go. Go, I'll give you a head start. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm watching you. Okay, you better run quickly. Go. Okay, Papa, I'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> 